Every moment, every sight, sound and touch weaves the fabric of our reality. But imagine if we could pull those threads, weaving them into new extraordinary patterns that blur the line between the tangible and the unimaginable. The Apple Vision Pro enters as a weaver of a new reality, promising an experience that transcends the limits of the ordinary. Yet as the boundaries between the real and the virtual dissolve, could this device that expands our worldview also unravel the very fabric of our minds? Our brains have evolved to be incredibly vision-centric. Over a quarter of our entire cortex is devoted to processing visual information, and it sculpts 80% of our sensory experience of the world. This makes our perception very susceptible to change when our visual source is exchanged. Within the visual processing centers of the brain, specialized groups focus on distinct aspects of sight. One group deals with lines and edges, motion or color, these groups exchange information seamlessly with higher brain regions where past experiences and expectations significantly influence the outcome. This intricate collaboration forms our instantaneous visual map of the world, biased by our belief and past experiences. Our visual maps are not just mere static representations though, they are dynamic and highly adaptable, constantly reshaping in response to new experiences. They do far more than navigate our sight, they sculpt our behaviour, they influence our emotions and guide our learning and decision making. Every look has the potential to rewire our brain circuits. Consider the compelling evidence from Harvard Medical School. Participants were immersed in the game of Tetris for three days and began to see the game's shapes everywhere in their dreams and even when they are awake. Their brains were weaving Tetris patterns into the fabric of their visual perception. This phenomenon illustrates how quickly and deeply visual experiences can sculpt our brain's architecture. These examples underscore a profound truth. Introducing revolutionary visual technology like the Apple Vision Pro isn't just about changing what we see, it's about transforming how we experience and interact with the world. It's a testament to the sensory revolution unfolding before us, challenging our brains to adapt in ways we're only really beginning to understand. A fascinating area of research centers around the Proteus effect. This is where our behavior in virtual environments changes to match the traits of our digital avatars. By tricking our brains into believing digital bodies are our own, we can alter self-perception, leading to real-world effects. The effect is named after the Greek god Proteus who could change his shape at will. For example, studies have placed older adults over the age of 60 in much younger virtual bodies. The result? They exercised harder, felt better about the workout, and were more likely to increase their physical activity after the experiment was complete. Another study allowed people to interact with digital representations of themselves while exercising. This had a knock-on effect of increasing their likelihood of exercising again after the experiment was complete. And this effect extends far beyond just fitness. Embodying taller avatars boosts assertiveness during negotiations, and there's promising research on improving body image and even managing things like chronic pain through VR. A meta-analysis in 2021 showed that allowing people to visualize and control a healthy, pain-free back actually decreased acute pain. However, it's important to remember this field is still very young. As VR technology like the Apple Vision Pro continues to improve, the ability to reshape our self-perception will likely become even more powerful, and nobody knows where this ceiling is. The Apple Vision Pro and other VR technology has the power to revolutionize learning and memory. This is something that genuinely excites me as an educator. Our brains are wired to remember experiences that engage us emotionally and sensorially. Picture stepping into a classroom where history comes alive where you can stroll through ancient Rome or sit in the stands of Martin Luther King Jr's I Have a Dream speech. When multiple senses are stimulated simultaneously, it creates a more vivid, context-rich and emotionally resonant memory trace. This makes the memories more accessible and durable over time. At the heart of Apple Vision Pro's allure lies its profound impact on the brain's reward system, a network intricately woven into our experiences of pleasure, motivation and reinforcement. Neuroscience tells us that engaging with immersive VR environments can significantly stimulate the brain's reward pathways, particularly the dopaminergic system. This governs our feelings of reward and pleasure. Imagine the rush of actually storming the beaches of Normandy or summoning Mount Everest and soaking in that view. 
Such experiences can radically elevate dopamine levels, enhancing the sense of achievement and satisfaction. This mechanism mirrors the natural reward pathways, but are on overdrive within the boundless realms of VR. While immersive learning is incredible, it also unlocks terrifying possibilities for manipulation. In an era of AI-generated fake news, a device that makes content feel undeniably real is a propaganda tool of immense power. Today's social media already fuels dangerous levels of polarization. Imagine the impact of a fully immersive For You page which is tailored to your beliefs. This is deeply concerning because the same brain systems that make VR education work so well also makes us susceptible to radicalization. A study in 2009 showed that VR could implant false memories in children. Imagine its potential as a brainwashing tool in the hands of an authoritarian regime. There's also some concern within the neuroscientific community related to visual distortions during pass-through. This is how we see when wearing the Vision Pro. Instead of natural sight, advanced cameras and sensors relay a near real-time feed. Apple's made huge strides, cutting latency down to just 11 milliseconds, which is way faster than its competitors. However, this comes with a narrower field of view, and even a slight delay can cause disorienting effects. Studies show distance underestimation, size distortions, color fringing, and even straight objects appearing curved. The worry is that with prolonged daily use, our brains might rewire based on these distortions, potentially impacting our perception even when we're not wearing the headset. Imagine the danger this could pose while driving or operating heavy machinery. Motion sickness is also a very common issue within VR. Anyone else getting motion sickness or just me? <laughs> this is a one way bro, what the f This stems from a mismatch between what your eyes see, which is movement within the headset, and what your vestibular or balance system senses, which is your body being still. This dissonance can trigger nausea, a response that some theorize, quite interestingly, evolved as a defense against neurotoxins that might cause a similar level of sensory confusion. Although studies do show that this motion sickness does decrease with prolonged use. The reality is that the long-term effects of VR like the Apple Vision Pro are still very uncertain. Reduced peripheral vision and visual distortions are areas of concern. As researcher Rabindra Vatan puts it, we just don't know what it means to experience these effects for hundreds of hours a month. There could be impacts on how our eyes move, potentially even worsening your vision. This effect on our brains remains an open question. Beyond everything that we've discussed in this video, I actually think there's something far more pervasive coming over the horizon, which is people losing a sense of what's real. We already talked about children acquiring false memories, but in another 2014 experiment, Frank Steinecke, a professor of human-computer interaction, spent 24 hours alternating between two-hour bouts of VR use and a 10-minute break. Throughout the study, Steinecke became unsure of what was real and what wasn't. Several times during the experiment, the participant was confused about being in the virtual environment or in the real world and mixed certain artifacts and events between the two. Apple is marketing these devices to be worn all day. It seems inevitable to me that people will start losing a sense of reality when the two worlds are already merging so closely together. You might think this seems harmless at the start, but it gets very twisted when you start to think about things like porn, AI companionship, and deepfakes. Generative AI is making it so with a click of a fingers we can create anything we want, and VR is placing it in front of us and convincing our brains it's real. We just have no idea what effect opening that Pandora's box is going to have on your brain. Although you don't need to have much of an imagination to think of some really, really bad scenarios. Please let me know what you think down below. I think there is some incredible applications to things like education, but then there are obviously some very terrible consequences that could come out of it as well. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're interested in learning more about neuroscience and the brain, then please consider subscribing by supporting the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.